Okay, folks, here we are, game number 101. And believe it or not, we are already at the 1900 level. So we have to behave accordingly. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to try to play this uh, Kali setup and keep it quiet. Uh, I want to show that I can play solid, keep it simple. And all of you should know this is video number 101. You guys should know the Kali, the typical ideas, what we try to do. So now our bishop is going to be two. And like always, once I get to the middle game, I leave you with my jam and I just focus on winning this game. Now, fork is uh, already in the air. I'm also thinking of doing the same thing with the E pawn. Let me just bring my rook to the C file first. Now I could do, uh, yeah, E4 and then fork. So they have to be very, very careful. Guys, and this is looking uh, very nice for us. Now, now my bishop, I don't want to give up the pair of bishops for nothing, so let me bring it all the way back and look at my bishops aiming at the king side. So if they castle there, I already know that I could put some pressure on it. All right. They also they also know how to use their their bishops, so I have to be careful. Now rook c3, I think yeah, rook c3 is defending my f3 knight, but also I could swing the rook over to the d file and uh, try to create some pressure by. By, by playing d5. So let's see. <laughs> now, uh, I'm not, <laughs> to be, I have to be honest, uh, I like my position, but I'm not 100% sure um, about what Magnus Carlsen would do in this position. <laughs> Now, I think, guys, um, I really don't like their pieces so active. I want to activate my pieces first, but I think I'm going to do, eh, yeah, g3 first. They, that bishop has to leave. Then I continue with my with my game. Now, I got to be careful because now the f3 knight continues to be pinned and it's not defended by a pawn. That could be trouble. So if I could do g4 at some point, I'm, I think I'm going to do it. Now, like I said before, the rook goes to d3 getting ready to just play d5 <laughs> now this is not good so many pieces in my territory those bishops the knight is now in my territory i have the feeling they're going to do something like f5 just to cement that knight in the center hmm Now, notice how as I move my rook to d1, I realize I'm bringing my pieces to the queen side and my king is staying there by itself. Now, look at their battery. They're aiming at g3. So, of course, I don't think it's, it's, it's an option now for them, but I need to be alert and know that it... Ooh. All right. Well, I don't think I'm missing anything. Guys, it, that was just, in my opinion, too premature. My queen could easily come over and defend. Now... I don't think they have an attack. Maybe they should have done rook f6, rook g6 first, and then finally sacrifice. Now, my king is chilling without the queens on the board. I'm putting pressure on the weak pawn on e6. Uh, and of course, I'm up, I'm up material. Okay, now the knight, it's... Uh, hmm. Okay... Let me activate my pieces. Whenever I don't know what to do, I simply think to myself, which of my pieces can I improve? In this case, that king, this is the end game almost. So that king is going to come out and help. And by the way, notice how my pieces are on dark squares because that way their bishop cannot do anything to me. My bishop wants to get active. Why not? Although, <laughs> Let me bring the let me bring the super king to help out. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna take.
And guys, this uh, end game should be should be pretty pretty easy to win. Now we have a bishop. Of course, we also have pawns. Now that I took on a7, my a pawn is passed. Um, now, what if we try to? Hmm. I like the idea of doing the the one rook checkmate. So you see, the king at the end of the day is going to participate. Maybe this is completely unnecessary, but it's uh, it's cool that the king could help us. So I'm trying to use this threat to collect pawns at the expense of the king and the checkmate threat. Now my bishop, I have it. It's the extra piece I have. If I don't use it, it's like I don't have it. And then I think now, um, yeah, now they cannot put me in check anymore. And rook g8 is going to be checkmate. So there you go, guys. Another interesting game with the Kali uh, Sukertort. And we're closer than ever to 2000. <laughs>